Good morning, Griffins. Hope you're all having a great week. Up first, a video for Words Matter Week. Hey, Griffins. This week, for Words Matter Week, we challenge students to unscramble positive words. What does this unscramble? A butter. <laughs> a butterfly. <laughs> Nutella. Ubutfila. A but. <laughs> what? A fifth. An <laughs> attribute. <laughs> What? I don't know. Try, look at it. Are they interesting letters? It's positive words. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you have to unscramble a positive word. Yay. Um. <laughs> I don't even know. Do you want to do it? Are you going to stop doing it? You have to unscramble this positive word. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. It's positive. It's positive. No, it's not. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> Try to unscramble this positive word. Okay, let's see. I think it's kind. No, <laughs> no it's not. not. You have to unscramble this positive word. Um. Sierra? <laughs> Appreciated? Good job, good. Wait, what? Okay. Bye, Griffins. Now let's learn a bit more about Miss Ellis. Hi, what's your name and what do you teach? I'm Mrs. Ellis and I teach course two math. How do you remember so many students' names? I don't. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. My classes all know that. I definitely use my seating charts because I'd rather use that than call you the wrong name or something like that. What are the current trends baffling you? Crocs. <laughs> Crocs kill me because they were around when I was in middle school and they were not in trend there. You are not cool if you wore them. So for them to be popular now blows my mind. What are your hidden talents? I, I would say my hidden talent is painting. I don't do it as often as I would like, but for Christmas one year, I painted my parents a three foot by four foot canvas of koi fish, um, and it is pretty spectacular. If you were a flower, which one would you be and why? It's a really good question. Um, I'd probably be one that can kind of bloom anywhere um, one of those is the cosmos flower. They're really pretty and they bloom kind of wherever you plant them. What does a typical Saturday look like for you? I am lucky enough that on my Saturdays I get to spend it with my daughter and my parents a lot of the time. So it's relaxing, maybe going to the park, things like that. That's nice. Uh, how would you handle online learning and how would you handle it if it came up again? Um, I struggled with online learning. I really like being in person and getting to see students and interact with them. Um, so it was a lot of patience, a lot of grace, um, and then just knowing that a lot of it's out of our control. So if things went wrong, just kind of rolling with it and going from there. I agree. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Let's look at a video about Valentine's Day. Monday is Valentine's Day. Somewhere back in time, Emperor Claudius II declared that marrying should be illegal for young men because he wanted a stronger army. So Valentine was like, hey, that's not cool. And so he performed secret marriages. And when Emperor Claudius found out, he killed Valentine. Now, a pope made him, like, uh, holy, and he made him a saint, and yeah, Valentine's Day was born. Make sure to show your spirit and wear red or pink on Valentine's Day on Monday, February 14th. Bye, Griffins. Up next, a video about our upcoming LTA. Hey, Griffins. Next Tuesday, we have a Soda Can Knockout LTA. All right, Griffins, let's go over the rules. So first, you're going to have two teams of five players, and both of you guys are going to be on opposite sides of the table. 
You guys get each get one chance to knock over the other person's soda can. You can only get you can only knock down one soda can per turn and once you throw your uh, ping pong ball then you go to the back of the line and the next person steps up. We hope to see you there. Bye Griffins. And now in honor of Black History Month, let's talk about Sojourner Truth. She was formerly an enslaved woman in the 19th century advocating for women's rights and was the first woman to win a case against a white man. She even received an invitation to President Abraham Lincoln because of her outstanding civil work. She has written books, fought to get her son back in court, and even worked for the National Freedmen Relief Association, rallying people to donate food and clothes to African American refugees. Now for a little bit about the Valentine's Day contest. Hey, girl friends! This year we're selling Valentine's Day grams. Send your friends Valentine's in class. You can buy them in the morning from the 7 to the If 10. you have any questions, please feel free to email Haley Martinez. Hey, Griffins! Uh, this year we are hosting a Valentine's Day poetry contest. The theme is love. You can write about your love for your friends, your family, your hobbies, and All more. All submissions are due by February 14th. If you have any questions, email me. Hi, Griffins. Hey Griffins! Just a reminder, we have the Valentine's Day art competition going it's on. It's Valentine's Day themed and is due by February 8th. Submissions must be submitted to Miss Crystal's mailbox. If you have any questions, email Haley Martinez or go to the student activities page. Submitted on 8x11 piece of paper. Bye Griffins! Up next, the kindness quote of the week from the Ractivist Club. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. ASOP. Spread some kindness today. The Ractivists meet every Thursday after school. Everyone is welcome. Let's look at an update for the scavenger hunt. Hey Griffins, I hope everyone had fun during the scavenger hunt. Now it's time to announce our winners. Drum roll, please. In third place, we have Vivon's group. In second place, we have Satvika's group. And in first place, we have Drum roll, please. Dia's group. Come to C107 to pick up your prizes before school on Thursday, and the room will be open at 7.40. Thanks for playing! Congratulations! <laughs> February is recognized as Black History Month. It's an annual observance in the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom for remembrance of important people and events in history of the Amer African dis diaspora. The first person we're going to talk about is Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks was an iconic woman who refused to give up her seat to a white man on a bus, believing she had the right to sit there. Her resilience created movements that Martin Luther King Jr. later carried on. Harriet Tubman was a black woman born as a slave in the 1800s. Because of her experiences, she later went on to help other black people avoid slavery by escaping to the North through an underground villa. George Washington Carver was a world famous scientist and chemist who made amazing agricultural discoveries. Bye, Griffins! Nice. My eyes look shiny in your phone case, though. Wait, wait, it's wait. nice. Tell me when you're recording, bro. Okay. He's recording. That's all for today, Griffins. See you next time on Griffin, Griffin News. News.